Hi, my name is Lisa Berrywaite and I'm the 1920s record specialist at the National Archives. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the aviator Mary Bailey, who was the first woman to fly across the Irish Sea. The National Archives holds many records which relate to Mary's trailblazing aviation career. Born into an aristocratic family in Ireland in 1890, Mary had an adventurous spirit from a young age and ran away from home to pursue her interest in motoring and aviation. During the First World War, Mary volunteered as a mechanic with the Royal Flying Corps and went on to obtain her pilot's licence. We hold a number of Mary's pilot licences, including this one from 1927. One of our most interesting records on Mary refers to her remarkable 8,000 mile solo flight in 1928 where she flew from Croydon to Cape Town and made a return flight the same year. Records from the Foreign, foreign Office show how officials tried to prevent her worrying about her safety as a woman travelling alone. To this she wrote that she would rather be free to proceed at her own risk. Mary successfully flew to Cape Town and was escorted for part of the flight. However, she refused an escort on her return journey and flew by the west coast of Africa, which was a more dangerous route. The flight was a great success and the longest solo flight to that point. She went on to win the 1929 Britannia Trophy for the flight and was made a Dane Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1930. Mary refused to be constrained by societal norms concerning the role of women and was instrumental in advancing aviation in the 1920s.